<laughs> Universal just dropped the big one. These past couple months, they have been trickling down information about what to expect with this year's Halloween Horror Nights. But today, this morning, they released it all. So we know everything there is to know about the event. All of the haunted houses that we're going to be getting, all of the scare zones that we're going to be getting, and all of the shows that we're going to be seeing. And I wanted to make this video to go down the list, give you guys the most up-to-date news, and share with you guys what I think are going to be my most anticipated haunted houses for the year. So welcome to the Halloween Horror Nights news edition of Vincent Vision. <laughs> Hello everybody, yes, it's me, Vincent, hey, coming to you from my, uh, still currently unfurnished office, and with my, the only Halloween Horror Nights sh shirt that I have, surprisingly, it's from 2017, as you can see. I've been going to the event for a really, really long time, I think I, my first year was like 2005, honestly, yeah, but, you know, sometimes you just, uh, shirts get old and you, you know, you grow out of them. But we're not here to talk about shirts, we're here to talk about Halloween Horror Nights 2021. 30 years and 30 fears. It is so excited. I'm sure there are a lot of people looking forward to this event. And today, this morning, we just got news about everything else that we have been looking to know, which is what are all the other haunted houses gonna be? So we know this year that there's gonna be 10 haunted houses, five scare zones, and two shows. So for this video, I wanted to go down the list of all the haunted houses, streets, and shows that are gonna be at this year's event and then talk a little bit more about them in my personal rankings. Give you guys the haunted houses that I'm the most excited for and maybe the ones you should be excited for as well. What I can say right off the bat is that this year is going to be a big time hardcore fan pleaser. All these haunted houses and shows and streets that have been announced already have these awesome callbacks to the 30 years of Halloween Horror Nights. And, you know, I'm a pretty big Halloween Horror Nights fan. Like, I, I've kept up to date with the event for a really, really long time. But I, they are going to be, I'm expecting, some really, really deep cuts for the Super Horror Nights fans that might have probably been going since the event started in 1990. But I've been going for a good chunk of time, so I'm going to try to use my Horror Nights expertise to pick out anything that might be of use to us during this video. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. So very quickly, I'm gonna just go list off the 500 houses that we already know about prior to this announcement. The Haunting of Ill House, Beetlejuice, The Texas Chainsaw Massacre, Universal Monsters, The Bride of Frankenstein Lives, and HHN Icons Captured. Those are the haunted houses that we knew about before the big drop, and now we know about the five other haunted houses that are gonna be at this year's event, which include Welcome to Sega. Put my, my reading glasses on here. I gotta, here, I gotta grab the laptop here. Uh, sorry about that. <laughs> but literally, I'm just getting all this information right now. Uh, Welcome to Scary Horror in the Heartland. Case Files Unearth Legendary Truth. The Wicked Growth Realm of the Pumpkin. Puppet Theater Captive Audience. And Revenge of the Tooth Fairy. These are all original haunted houses. These are not IPs. This is a phrase you might hear me throw around a lot during this video, which is intellectual property. It's basically any of the Halloween Harnets, haunted houses that are based off like a movie, a TV, a show, you know, things like Beetlejuice, Haunting of Hill House, you know, Ghostbusters and The Exorcist in previous years, those types of haunted houses. This year is the 30th year of Halloween Horror Nights. We are celebrating 30 years of creative genius. So it is good to see that there is going to be a little bit more of a lean towards original ideas and haunted houses that existed previously in the timeline of Halloween Horror Nights versus relying on new franchises to bring people to the event. So that is already off to a really, really great start. As far as scare zones go, the only IP scare zone we have is Crypt TV, which is a, it's a sort of a horror YouTube based channel thing. I'm not really too sure about that, but it, it looks pretty cool. All those decorations for the street are already in Universal Studios. So you can go see the set dressing for that. We've got 30 Years, 30 Fears, which is right at the front of the park. Seek and Destroy, which is the New York scare zone, which all the barrels and the, the controller is watching, things like that. Gorewood Forest, which is going to be in Central Park, and this is going to be based off of Halloween Heart Nights 15, which is my first year, so I'm really excited for that one. And then Lights, Camera, Action, which is going to be in Hollywood. It's going to be movies, goriness, 
Eddie. He was supposed to be the main icon of Halloween Horror Nights in 2001, but because of September 11th, they never used him and he, he never had his time to shine. They thought he was too extreme, so, you know, this time we're finally going to be getting some proper Eddie. I'm expecting to see a lot of Eddie this year, which will be really, really great. As far as live entertainment goes, there are two shows that are happening. There's one by the Lagoon. It's going to be called the Marathon of Mayhem Carnage Factory. And then at the old Bill and Ted Theater, rest in peace, is going to be something called Halloween Nightmare Fuel, which all we know about it is that it is going to be a show featuring fire, pyro, and aerial performers. Hopefully that gives you a little quick rundown of everything that we are going to be getting this year. I'm very, very excited, and I've had some time to look at the list, and I definitely have some houses that I am a lot more excited for than others. And it's tricky because, you know, with like Halloween Horror Nights, you know, you want to figure out like what, what makes a better haunted house. Is it one that's like made better or is it one that's scarier? So like I have some that I think are, are going to be cooler than others and some that I think are going to be scarier. And let me like preface this like they're all going to be cool. Like it is no doubt like Halloween Horror Nights is one of the coolest things that Universal does. And it is just like such a well done event and those haunted houses and the streets are really, really make this thing awesome. I'm gonna just give you like, just kind of a general list of haunted houses that I'm excited for, which is like a mixture of what I think are gonna be cool and what I think are gonna be scary at the same time. So let's start all the way down at the bottom with number 10, my least anticipated house. And this one's gonna kind of like really not be fair because technically this haunted house was here last year. We got to see it and it really wasn't like in full effect. You know, there was a lot of like COVID procedures going on, like plexiglass and masks and performers and things like that. But for me, number 10, Revenge of the Tooth Fairy. You know, I did the Revenge of the Tooth Fairy house last year a couple times and it had a cool facade and it was like, it was cool, but it just wasn't that scary to me. And a lot of people really liked that haunted house. I couldn't understand what was going on. The premise of the haunted house is that the tooth fairy are like these little impish goblins that take people's teeth. And you know, you were going through the haunted house and they were you know, terrorizing this one family or this one boy. And I think there was a lot that I, I couldn't pick up from what was going on in the haunted house. And I'm excited to see it again. And like, I know it's gonna be a lot better because I think they're gonna be able to do a lot more than they were able to do last year. So that's pretty cool, but I don't know. I just think compared to everything else that we know about the event this year, that one, it, it didn't really, it didn't really hit the mark for me. So like when that shows up this year, I'm not going to be in, in as big of a rush to go see it on opening day versus some of the other haunted houses. Number nine on my list is going to be Case Files Unearthed. Legendary Truth. In the world of Halloween Horror Nights, Legendary Truth is this sort of like paranormal, activity type group, you know, that is, is looking for these like ghosts and spirits and paranormal creatures. And like, I think this is what this house is going to be like. It seems like based off the art for the haunted house that we're going to have some sort of greatest hits, best of haunted house. But I just, we don't really know too much about it right now. Probably going to see a recurring character. His name is Boris Schuster. He is a, a paranormal detective. He actually has a window in the New York section of the park. And he was a character that was introduced around the time of Reflections of Fear, which was Bloody Mary's gear for Halloween Horror Nights. I think it was 2008. That'll be nice for some fans. And I'm sure that if this is all based off of like paranormal stuff, you know, it looks like there's some sort of Yeti monster on there. We might get a Yeti room from the Yeti haunted house. How many times can I say Yeti in 30 seconds? Yeti, 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 Yeti. That was really scary. So that'll be fun. And I'm curious to see what other sort of paranormal creatures we get. Ghosts, aliens, who knows? Number eight on my list is gonna be Puppet Theater captive audience. Ah, uh, puppets don't really scare me. I'm not really uh, uh, scared of puppets or dolls or anything like that. I don't want to offend anybody. I know all these haunted houses are going to be super cool. And if, even if I don't find them super scary, I think I'm still going to be impressed by the craftsmanship. So I'm expecting this haunted house to be really impressive. You know, I, I love, like, I remember there was a year when it was the Usher and he had his icon haunted house and you were going through the back 
of the theater and there was a giant screen projected and you were like walking backstage. That was really, really cool. So if this house has stuff like that, I will really, really like it. And like, I can almost see already what's gonna be in the haunted house where you're, there's gonna be people on strings and they're like, ah! you know, they're gonna do that kind of stuff. That one there, I gotta see it. You don't really have much hype for that one right now. Number seven is going to be an IP haunted house. It is going to be Netflix's The Haunting of Hill House. Well, I know, I know, I've been watching the show and it's, it's not that scary. And like, I think it's gonna be really cool, like the, the facade that we've seen of Hill House and like, you know, the stairs and all that. I, I'm pretty sure it's gonna be a really impressive haunted house. I think out of all the other IPs and franchises that we have at the event right now, this one's kind of on the bottom to me. You know, the show, if anyone, if you guys have watched Hill House, like tell me, tell me I'm not wrong, but the show's like really sad. It's not like super scary, it has its moments, but it's just like a really sad show. <laughs> I don't know, it's it's a little dreary and I think I, I don't really know what to expect. I'm excited to see it. I'm glad that we're getting more sort of Netflix haunted houses and deals and things like that. Like I'm excited for like whenever we get that new season of Stranger Things, I'm excited for Stranger Things to come back, fingers crossed. But Hill House, don't really know what to expect. Don't think it's super scary, sorry. Number six for me is going to be the wicked growth realm of the pumpkin. An evil rot has taken root in the land. It's time once again for the rise of the pumpkin lord who grows Halloween like a malignant vine. His minions are scouring the countryside, collecting unwilling sacrifices in order to summon the pumpkin lord. This house sounds to me like a house that I really enjoyed a couple years back, which was the Seeds of Extinction. And even like a little bit of like graveyard games where you were going through, you know, the cemetery or the stores in Seeds of Extinction and people were camouflaged really, really well. And I remember going through the haunted house for the first time. It left such a good impression that I really, really liked visiting that haunted house throughout the event. So if this one's anything like that, that'll be really, really awesome. Oh my gosh, do you know what this reminds me of? This reminds me of Scarecrow, The Reaping, which was one of the scariest haunted houses I had ever done. It was in the tents and you were, it was just a bunch of scarecrows popping out at you, but they were camouflaged so well. It was really tight and claustrophobic and they hid in the hay. In my head, I'm imagining this haunted house to be a mixture of Seeds of Extinction, Graveyard Games, and Scarecrow. And to me, that is a really award-winning combination. So I am actually pretty, pretty excited for this one. Number five for me is going to be Scary, Horror in the Heartland. This house is going to be the fan favorite house easily. Like easily, I can, I can see it already. This is gonna be for like the mega Halloween Horror Nights fan. For those who don't know, Cary, Ohio is a town that they've used as a location for a lot of different Halloween Horror Nights haunted houses over the many, many years that this event has been going on. So I'm expecting this to be sort of like a greatest hits house, like a mega house featuring references to a lot of really popular and well-received haunted houses over the years. There's a really extensive, cool Halloween Horror Nights Wikipedia that you can go look on. So shout out to them because they have a list of pretty much like every haunted house that has taken place in Cary, Ohio. So you're getting stuff like Scream House, the original Scream House with the caretaker, one of Halloween Horror Nights' most iconic icons. You're getting stuff like Leave It to Cleaver, which is this really campy, like sort of butcher, funny haunted house that they had a couple years back. The Hive, Slaughter Cinema, which was really popular a couple years back as well. You're getting a lot of really cool, original idea haunted houses, and I'm expecting to see all of these at the scary haunted house. So that'll be really cool. It's gonna be loaded with tons and tons of references. That'll be a really, really fun haunted house. That one, boop, right there, number five. Number four for me is going to be The Bride of Frankenstein Lives. This was a haunted house that we got last year that at the beginning, I didn't really think too much about it. I was like, oh, okay, this is fine. It's super dark. I can't really tell what's going on in here. I don't really like this. As time went on, it really, really grew on me. So I'm excited to see it back again this year. And I'm excited 
to see it in full swing. This was a pretty scary haunted house. It was dark, it was, you know, all ladies, and it was like vampires, and the Bride of Frankenstein, they're all trying to bring Frankenstein back, which Frankenstein does kind of scare me. Anytime they've done Frankenstein in the Universal Horror Nights haunted houses, he's always really scared me. They had one a couple years back where he like showed up right at the head of the haunted house, and he was huge! He was always like some really tall guy, and then he was like on big old boots too, and it was like, Grr! like it was really scary. I know he shows up at the end of this haunted house. Spoilers, sorry, you're gonna see Frankenstein, but everything else along the way is pretty darn scary too. Number three is gonna be Showtime, baby. That was my Beetlejuice impression. It's Beetlejuice. Beetlejuice is gonna be number three for me. This is a cool one. I really liked The Haunted House last year. For those who don't know, Beetlejuice, they, they had it built. And then literally for like one random weekend, they were like, hey, we're gonna open the Beetlejuice Haunted House. You have one weekend to see it. So get over here right now, get your virtual line, good luck. I went and I saw it and it was, it was really, really cool. Like lately Universal has been doing a really good job with these sort of IP haunted houses based off of movie franchises that aren't so scary. You know, they've done one of Ghostbusters, they've done one of Beetlejuice, and now like, you know, Beetlejuice is coming back. So that was really, really fun. You could definitely tell though, last year it wasn't all finished. There was a lot of like actors and things like that missing, but even then it was still cool to go through and see all of the rooms recreated really, really well and like really go through the story of Beetlejuice. So I'm excited to see it again this year. I'm expecting this to probably be one of the most popular haunted houses. And luckily for me, I got to see it last year. So I'm not in such a super rush to see it but I, I'm expecting it to be really, really well done. I'm excited to see it completely finished. I wanna see that room where they're all dancing to daylight come and me wanna go home. I wanna see that fully finished. I want all actors in there dancing on the ceiling or dancing on the roof, whatever they're doing, okay? That'll be pretty, pretty exciting. I'm excited for that haunted house quite a bit, which means number two is another IP haunted house. And this is going to be the Texas Chainsaw Massacre, which, um, I hate, I hate. One of my, my biggest fears is being stuck in some random nowhere town with some crazy redneck hillbillies in the woods, in the backwoods and things like that. And this literally just checks all the notes. Also, it's chainsaws in a really claustrophobic space. I remember when they did a Texas Chainsaw Haunted House a couple years back, I always used to hate it, but I would do it because it was fun because it was scary, right? And that's why you come to these events is to get scared. So this is number two for me. Uh, I hate the Texas Chainsaw Massacre, which, you know, I, which means I'm gonna hate this haunted house, but in a good way. Number one, how can it be anything else? It is going to be HHN Icons Captured, okay? This is my most anticipated haunted house. This is what I have been waiting for for forever. I remember 25, Halloween Horror Nights 25, they did a sort of mega haunted house based off of all the previous 25 years of Halloween Horror Nights and I loved it. It was my favorite house. It's still one of my favorites. It was so cool. I'm expecting this one to be even cooler because this isn't so much about the event, which is really special. It is about the icons, which really, really make Halloween Horror Nights what it is. So we are gonna see Jack, we're gonna see the caretaker, we're gonna see the director, we're gonna see Lady Luck. Give it up for Lady Luck fans in the house, yeah? Yeah? All right, nobody, cool. Eddie, all those characters, I'm so excited to see what they do. Each of these icons are gonna get their time to shine and we're gonna get to see it. So I am super, super excited for that. That right there, that is gonna be the first haunted house I go to. I, I just can't wait. I cannot wait to see it, truly. But uh, woof, yep, that is all I've got. That is the news for Halloween Horror Nights, which starts September 3rd. I am so, so very excited. It is right around the corner, and I knew I threw a lot of information at you guys, but this is all readily available on the Halloween Horror Nights website, other Halloween Horror Nights based news places like Orlando Informer and Inside Universal. They have all got the lowdown. You're gonna be able to get your updates and your construction updates and things like that. I can't really go out there and get that kind of stuff right now. I'm stuck at home, so all I can do is talk about it here at my house. But I hope you guys enjoyed 
this video and thank you guys for watching. Are you guys excited for Halloween Horror Nights? What do you think about my list? I know it's a little bit of a weird list. I'm sure everyone's gonna have completely different lists this year. This event is so personal and means so much to so many people. I'm excited to see what people think are their favorite haunted houses, what are their most anticipated haunted houses. Either way, it's gonna be a really, really awesome time. I am so happy to say that we are getting Halloween Horror Nights this year. Fingers crossed as hard as they possibly can, right? Nothing can screw this up, right? It's coming, it's coming. So <laughs> that is all I got, folks. So thank you guys for watching this video, and I will see you in the fog. I thought this chair would go a little bit lower and I could like see you in the fog. Ooh, bye-bye.